Every moment, every 
breath you take I choose you Mamaya pa, Marlo. Start pa lang. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Pwede po ba nating palakpakan ng Panginoon? Yung mas malakas pa pong palakpak dyan. Sige po, let's pray. Tayo mo nalangin. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami sa napakagandang araw na ibinigay mo sa amin. Nagpapasalamat kami dahil ito yung tinalaga mong araw para kay Marlo at kay Lala. Ikaw ang naglikha ng lahat ng bagay at dinadalangin namin sa iyo, Panginoon, as we enjoy your presence right now in this place. We ask you, Lord, to please hold the clouds upon your palms. Tapakan mo muna, sandali, Panginoon, yung Taal Volcano. And just allow us to enjoy this time. Create beautiful and wonderful memories. Enjoy and be happy with the presence of each and everyone. And most of all, sa bawat bahagi ng celebration na ito, ay mapapurihan ka namin at maluwalhati ka namin. Ito po yung aming dalangin sa iyo sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. I would like to call our Bible reader. First Corinthians 13 Love is very patient and kind never jealous or envious never boastful or proud Love is never haughty or selfish or rude Love does not demand its own way Love is First not irritable or touchy Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them and will always stand your ground in defending them. John chapter 4, verses 7 to 12. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is born of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much He loved us by sending His only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life through Him. This is real love. It is not that we loved God, but He loved us and sent His Son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Pagpalain na tayo sa pagkabasa ng kanyang mga salita. Maaari na po tayong makaupo. Muli magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Pastor VJ Bote. And samahan niyo po ako sa ating celebration this afternoon. Before we uh, uh, continue with our ceremony and uh, celebration, let me 
uh, share you a few uh, passages in the scriptures. And uh, let us allow um, the Word of God and the Holy Spirit uh, to continue to guide us with uh, event postponements and cancellations, venue closures, and stay-at-home instructions. It's safe to say that these are stressful and unprecedented times of uh, our, our lives or for everyone. And uh, the good news for us this afternoon is that we are all here and we are all in this together. And uh, during this time, no, it is incredible to, uh, to witness such patience, kindness, tenacity, and and resilience uh, during a pandemic uh, like this. And uh, this is an extraordinary wedding. Saan ka naman nakakita ng kasal sa buong buhay natin no, na naka wear, nakasutay ng mga mask. No? And uh, buti na lang pinababa sa atin kanina, nakita yung mga lipstick ninyo. No? Uh, Saan ka nakakita ng kasal only in this generation na naka-face shield tayo. No, and this is an extraordinary uh, uh, occasion because uh, today we will witness how two different people coming from two different families, two different likes and dislikes, will be exchanging their vows and uh, uh, asking blessing from, from God and even from all of us. Meron po ako nakausap na isang uh, lalaki na... They have been married for 50 years. And uh, amazing, no? 50 years. At uh, tinanong ko, ano po yung sekreto ninyo sa matagal at uh, masaya at matugumpay ninyong pagsasama? Ang sabi niya sa akin, simple lang, pastor. Ang sabi nung husband, ang sabi nung mister, no? sabi niya, ako yung lalaki eh. Ako yung padre de familia. Ako yung husband, sabi niya, Isa lang yung aking major role sa aming pagsasama. Basta pagdating sa big decisions, sa major decisions, ako yun. Si Mr. Si Husband. Sabi niya, pagdating naman sa mga small, minor, small decisions, si Mrs. yun. Sabi ko, pwede talaga nag-work. Sabi niya, oo, nag-work. Tingnan mo, 50 years na kami and our marriage is strong and we are happy. So sabi ko, paano niyo po nagawa yun? Sabi niya, pastor, simple lang. Sa loob ng limampung taon ng aming pagsasama, wala ni isang major decision kaming ginawa. Puro minor lang. Tsaka mga small decisions lang. So sabi niya, kita mo ang saya-saya namin, no? Uh, meron po ako nabasa na isang uh, research na ginawa nila sa New York Post na ang sabi, during this pandemic, yung divorce rates are falling down. Unwanted pregnancies are going down. Yung rate, yung, yung statistics. No? And uh, siguro ito yung isang magandang uh, resulta ng pandemic sa Amerika. No? Tignan natin kung ano sinasabi po ng Biblia about weddings, about marriage. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 to 12, meron pong five reminders sa atin. No? So, when we see this, no? pwede bang ilagay niyo yung daliri niyo sa noon niya na ganito? Kuhanan niyo sila ng picture. No? Sige. W. No? It's not whatever. It means wedding. So, nang ibig sabihin ng, ng wedding sa Ecclesiastes chapter 4, Verses 9 to 12. Listen to this quickly. Number one is the word work. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, ang sabi, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. A marriage won't make it without a lot of work, but there's a reward when both work together. Marriage is often described as getting hitched or yoked with each other. That makes us think of pag-yoke, no? pamatok. That makes us think of two animals being yoked together or hitched to a heavy wagon. Meron po silang uh, observation na nagawa 
sa lahat daw ng klase ng breed ng horses, eto daw Belgian horses ang pinakamalakas na horse para humatak. And a Belgian horse alone can, uh, can draft, no, can pull four tons ng isang load ng isang wagon. No, if, if, if you want to imagine what is four tons, uh, tinignan ko lang kanina ano, isang araw sa Google, ang isang Toyota Fortuner ay two tons. So dalawang Fortuner kayang hatakin ng Belgian horse. No? However, tignan niyo po yung ganiwa nilang study, ha? if these two Belgian horses are trained to work together in a harness, you know what? It can pull 16 tons. From 4 tons to 16 tons. From 2 Toyota Fortuners, it can pull 8 Toyota Fortuners. So, ano po yung ibig sabihin? No? Times 4. Kapag merong synergy, 2 together can accomplish 4 times as much when they work as one. So, that's the first point this afternoon. Work. Second is in verse 10. If either of them falls down, one can help them, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them. So from work, second is walk. Mas masarap kung meron kang kasamang nagtatrabaho, humahatak. Mas masaya kung meron kang kasamang naglalakad. Ang sabi sa Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 10. Solomon next describes this committed companionship as walking together. They, there will be a lot of risks in this journey. No? At minsan, kung saan-saan ka dadali ng ways. No? Minsan, unfamiliar roads and terrains. But if you will work and work together, you will definitely enjoy this wonderful journey before you. Third is in verse 11. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? So you work, you walk, and you warm together. See your spouse as your companion, as one who completes you, and who you are to live in communion with each other. And when you do that, God will bring warmth to you. Marlo, your word, your language will be love. Love, Lala, with all that you have. Loving her, like you love yourself, and even more. Help her to know that she is secure in your love. No, palagay ko, lalo na yung mga kaibigan mo na nandito, no? eh, napakalaki ng paghanga kay Marlo. Hindi ko alam kung ako lang ba o baka meron din dito. No? Natatandaan niyo po yung nangyari noong 2019, noong pinasarado ni Marlo yung MOA. Sino makakagawa sa inyo nun? Di ba? Tapos, 2020 ba yun? Nung pinapunta niya yung ano, yung... ano pangalan nung... Ha? ano pangalan nun? Yung... Ano yung pinapakinggan natin kanina, Mami? Tatlong oras natin pinapakinggan sa traffic? Ano yun? Yung nagko-cover? Ayun, boy, sabi niya, napapunta mo sa bahay niyo. Di ba? So, continue to love, Lala. Ikaw lang ang makakagawa nung pinagagagawa mo. No. Uh, there was a time na nag-PM ako sa kanya, Marlo, mukhang magpapaturo na kami sa iyo. Ah. Nakabuo na ako ng cell group ng mga mister na ano. Diba? Uh, can you imagine, uh, paano mo nakubinse na si Lala yung haharana sa iyo kanina? Na ikaw lang nakakagawa nun, Marlo. No? <laughs> Lala, your word, your language will be respect. You honor Marlo with your words, with your actions. You look up to him. If for Marlo, his language will be love. For you, Lala, your language will be respect and honor. Your words, your actions must always show respect and honor to him. 
yun lang yung, ano ba yun, yun lang yung na- ma-identify ni Marlo. Yun lang ang na-identify ng husband mula sa wife. If there is respect, if there is honor, and then husbands, no, Marlo will feel that he's loved. And for Lala, if there is love, no, Lala will feel that she is loved. When each of you fulfill your roles and put each other's interests before your own, God will bring warmth to your relationship. Fourth is withstand. As you walk, work, and warm each other, you will also be called upon to withstand because there will be many forces working against your marriage. Ang sabi sa verse 12, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. Kaya nga, meron tayong cord sponsors to remind us na ang dalawang tali ay hindi sapat. Kailangan i-braid siya dun sa pangatlo. At yung pangatlo na yon that is God in your marriage, will help you withstand no, any kind of struggles and storms in your marriage. And then fifth is worship. No, you know that Lala is part of the worship team. No, and, um, and now as, as a couple, no, you, are, you will always and will be completely confident as you strive together to work, to walk, to warm each other, to withstand difficulties and storms of life, and most of all, to worship Jesus. If you will remember this five, no, that is being uh, 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 given to us this afternoon through Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 to, uh, um, to, to 12, you will, you will enjoy... God's design of marriage. No, ito yung disenyo ni God. No? Marriage is made in heaven. It is designed by God. For you to work together, to walk together, to warm each other, to withstand everything together with the Lord, and to worship Him together. No? Parenting will always be a privilege and a blessing. There will be times that faith, hope, and love will be tested. Ano sabi ni Paul? But love will always conquer everything. So remember that, no? Work, walk, warm, withstand, and worship. Marriage is made in heaven, designed by God. Parenting is a privilege and a blessing. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest among all is love. MP3. Kaya mo nang tandaan yun, ha? Okay. May the Lord bless you and keep you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I ask you now in the presence of God and these witnesses to declare your intention to enter into holy matrimony with one another through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself through salvation. Lala? Will you have Marlo? Will you have Marlo to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you comfort, love him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Marlo, will you love Lala? Will you have Lala to be your wife? To live together in holy matrimony, will you comfort, love her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Okay, I charge you both as you stand in God's presence to remember that love and loyalty alone will serve as the foundations of a happy and enduring home. These solemn vows are kept permanently, steadfastly, seek the will of God 
and your lives together with the home you are to establish will be blessed, favored, and empowered. I would like to ask the parents to please stand. Dear parents, Dear parents, continue to guide and encourage them to love, help, support, and pray for each other. Continue to make them feel and know that you will always be there for both of them as your son and daughter. Pray and support them always in every decision they make, in every dream they pray, and in every goal they set. In the past, you have known Marlo and Lala as individual persons. Now they are joined together in matrimony. Please declare your blessings upon them as husband and wife. Can you follow after me? We pray and bless and assure you both of our continuing love, good wishes, and prayers. We will assure you both of our love, support, and unending prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, please be seated. I would like to ask the sponsors to please stand. Mga ninong at ninang. You are here because Marlu and Lala look up to you. You have touched and blessed and inspired their lives in many ways you may not know. Today, you will make this connection an intentional relationship as their second parents, taking the responsibility to assist Marlu and Lala for their moral, financial, emotional, and spiritual needs. Will you take these responsibilities, continue to be a role model for them, and bless them always? Thank you, and please be seated. I would like to ask the congregation, the, everybody to please stand, the congregation. You are all special to Marlu and Lala. That's why you are here. You are friends. You are family. And they will forever be grateful for your presence today. Please continue to include them in your prayers. Cover them with kind and good words. Protect them always as much as possible. And never forget to encourage them when you have an opportunity. Please be seated. Before we met, I was very frustrated and kept questioning why I'd been NBSB. <laughs> I would often tell myself na magiging matandang dalaga na talaga ako. But God turned my frustrations to hope. 
He turned my low self-esteem to know that I am beautifully and wonderfully made for His purpose and that I am loved no matter what. And then we met. We met at a point where God has fully prepared me to be in a, in a relationship. And it amazes me how God orchestrated everything, how he led our paths crossed, and finally made his love story for us to come alive. We were in a training room in our new team. I don't know you yet. And then you ask for my help in executing a task. And then I went close to you, and the guys started teasing you. At dun, <laughs> at dun nagsimula na halos araw-araw, aasa rin tayo ng magagaling nating office mates at tatawa lang tayong dalawa. Pero deep inside, kinikilig na pala ako. <laughs> Ay. Okay. And I'm and I'm thankful they did that. Especially to those who encouraged you to pursue me dahil nga may pagkatorpe ka. <laughs> um, nope, you're you are not a musician just like what I have been consistently asking God ever since before. But instead, he led me to a person who fanboys musicians. Or should I say boy bands? A1 and Boys Avenue to name a few. At buti na lang kasi nasasama ako sa mga concerts na pinupuntahan mo. Um, but seriously, God gave me more than I asked for. Napakabait, matalino, responsive ball, very patient, very caring, understanding, generous, o pagmahal sa mga magulang at mga kapatid. At higit sa lahat, napaka-pogi. <laughs> Galing mo doon. <laughs> um, I thank you for your never-ending support, for always encouraging me, teaching me, and correcting me. You helped me believe believed in myself and become the person that I am today. Thank you for always going the extra mile just to express your love for me. Thank you for your God kind of love. A love that is pure, kind, forgiving, and selfless. Just like one of my favorite songs from Torin Wells, which says, How real, how wide, how rich, how high is God's heart. I cannot find the reasons why you give me so much. And you are definitely one of those that I can't believe God has given me. That is so much more than I deserve and prayed for. And I praise the Lord for that. And today, surrounded by all our loved ones, pinapangako ko na mamahalin kita sa lahat ng panahon. I will respect, regard, and honor you. You are so good in taking care of me, and I promise to show the same care you have for me for as long as we live. I will listen to your stories and struggles. Sasamahan kita sa mga trip mo, at susuportahan kita sa mga gusto mong marating. Dadalasan ko ang pagluto ng sinigang para sa iyo. I promise to celebrate your successes, and I also promise to comfort you when life seems hard. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to be the most dependable person in your life. As your wife, I will be your helpmate and I will submit to your leadership. I vow to always let forgiveness take over in our relationship. And next to God, I promise to put you on top of my priorities. And I vow to always choose you as we choose to follow and worship Jesus. I love you, mahal ko, my best friend, my soulmate, my partner, my husband, and my forever. Um, 
Lala, I love. Um, I really don't know what I'm supposed to say in this vow. You know, uh, I've never been good in expressing my feelings through words, and I'd rather do it in action. All I know is that <laughs> I want to spend <laughs> I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and I promise that I'll do everything that I can um, to be a good husband to you and a good father to our future children with God in the center of our relationship. Um, but during uh, the time I'm writing this draft, it took me down the memory lane, and I realized God planned our paths to cross together. Um, I can still remember before I joined our team. Pareho tayo. Pabilo kong ipinalangin sa Diyos. Sabi ko, sana, sana naman, dito ko na makikita yung tinadaan mo sa akin. And then I saw your name on the roster of my new team. Of my new teammates. Sabi ko, ganda ng pangalan nito. Siguro bagay sa apelido ko. <laughs> Then I finally met you. Ah, so, um, na ako na ako na atam pinaka torpeng tao na nakilala mo. <laughs> that someone has to literally push me, literally push me to make my first move. Hindi ko nga alam ano ang gagawin o ano sa sabihin ko on our first date, but thanks to Google and YouTube. <laughs> Tagumpay. <laughs> Ganun talaga. Um, I prayed for someone whom I will love and who will love me in return. And I must have done something good in this life because God answered my prayer. And um, He gave me so much more than I have prayed for. Maganda. <laughs> Mabait. Sweet, thoughtful, at napakagaling kumanta. Daig ko pa ang nanalo sa loto. Jackpot. <laughs> And when I asked you for the trace of your ideal man, sinabi mo na kanina, <laughs> sa dami ng mga checkbox yun, na enumerate mo, isa lang ang tumugma sa akin. Ano? <laughs> Yung pinakauli. <laughs> Pogi. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang. <laughs> yun lang eh. <laughs> yun lang yung ma-offer ko. <laughs> Talaga. Kidding aside, um, you made me feel that I'm someone that can be loved despite my imperfections. I'm not perfect and I'll never be. Um, but I, uh, I promise that I'll be that right person. Um, the person that you won't regret It's just to share your life with. <clears throat> And uh, I have told myself that my first girlfriend will be the person that I'll be marrying. And now I'm fulfilling that promise for myself. You are indeed worth the wait. I may not have met you in the earlier part of my life, but we have our whole lives ahead of us. And I promise to... Um, cherish and make the most of every moment we spend together. We will celebrate our achievements, big or small. I will learn to cook your favorite comfort food <laughs> to cheer you up when you're feeling down. Or, my food panda naman. <laughs> Because my cooking might make your feeling worse. <laughs> you are the strength. I didn't know I needed, and I promise to be your source of strength as well. I promise you will not feel alone anymore, and you'll never have to face the world alone. I won't even watch a Netflix ser series or movie if we're not watching together. Kahit gusto ko ng next episode. I'll even ask for your permission before, before I buy that concert ticket. <laughs> But I hope you will still let us watch the concert of A1 Voice Avenue. 
You taught me how important communication is, so I promise to listen to all of your stories, the good and the bad, and I will not invalidate your feelings whenever you rant. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that we may come our way, that may come our way. Whenever we have misunderstandings, I promise to be patient and understanding and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. Today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. And, and you made me the happiest. <laughs> you made me the happiest man by agreeing to share your life with me. And I promise to love you faithfully and to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. You're my first and last. My now and forever. I love you today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. Pwede tayo pumalakpak. Pag kinikilig na kayo, palakpak kayo. <laughs> okay, so I would like you to please uh, kneel here. These rings are a physical sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying the union between Jesus Christ and His Church. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their lives through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lala, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, and with all, with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Marlu, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow, and with all that I am and with all that I have, I honor you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Marlu and Lala, I want you to uh, receive this Bible. If you still remember, God uh, encouraged Joshua. Meditate on this, on this day and night so that you will be successful and prosperous in all you do. I, pr I, promise, I promise before God, God that with this Bible, Bible I, I desire to follow God's ways and encourage you as my spouse, spouse to do the same. I, I also commit to God that I will love him more than I will love you as an evidence of my love for you. Today, I recognize that without him, there is no us. May God bless our family. I want you to look at the two candles before you. The two outside candles have been or will be lighted to, to represent both your lives in this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. As you join now in marriage, there is a merging of these two lights into one light. As you stand in God's presence, remember that love and loyalty alone will serve as the foundations of a happy and enduring home. Keep your vows, be steadfast, 
the will of God, you will experience a happier, healthier, successful, and more prosperous lives. Achieving your dreams, visions, and receiving all that has been promised to you. Your lives, your family will be pandemic-proof and even beyond. No harm, no calamity will come near your home. You will be blessed and favored at all times in all places. As this one light cannot be divided, As this one light cannot be divided, neither shall your lives be divided. But a united testimony in a Christian home. May the radiance of this one light be a testimony of your unity in the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to ask the coin bearer. These coins are the symbol of God's prosperity in your lives. You will never lack in anything. He will always be your provider. You will always be sufficient in all things. You will always have plenty and more than enough because God is your portion. Remember that you are part of God's army of providers and your cup will always overflow. I would like to ask the veil and the cord sponsors. Marlo, you will be the head of your family. Lala, you will always walk alongside with Marlo. Submit to one another out of reverence of Christ. Lala, you have to understand and always support and submit to Marlu in ways that you show support to Christ. Marlu, you will provide leadership the way Christ does to his church. Not domineering, but by cherishing. Marlu, go all out in your love for Lala, exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Everything you say and do must be designed to bring the best out of her. Words that will evoke beauty and unconditional love. Loving each other as you love yourself will bring that covering that you have right now. The unity and the protection to your marriage just exactly what the veil and cord represents. I would like to ask for the communion elements. As you take the bread and drink the cup, remember that the bread will always symbolize the body of Jesus and the cup will always represent his blood. And every time we take the cup, drink the cup and take the bread there will be fulfillment and well-being in your lives because it comes from accepting Jesus and having faith that in him 
you will have everything that you need. While waiting for the communion elements, I would like to ask the veil and the cord sponsors to remove the cord and the veil, please. I would like to ask everyone to uh, everybody to please stand. Hold each other's hands and face each other. Eternal God, help Marlu and Lala to fulfill the promises they have made here today and to reflect your steadfast love in their commitment to each other. Give them kindness and patience, affection and understanding, happiness and contentment. May their family and friends continue to support them in happy and difficult days so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live. Let me declare to you several verses from the scriptures in, John, in Job chapter 36, verse 11. We pray that as you obey and serve God, you will spend the rest of your days in prosperity and your years in fulfillment. In Proverbs 19, 23, as you fear the Lord, it leads to life. Then one rests in fulfillment and experience well-being untouched by trouble. In Psalm 34, verse 10, it says, Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. We pray that you will achieve everything that you have desired. We pray that you will achieve everything that was promised to you. We pray that you will achieve everything that has been declared and prophesied upon your lives. That you will live healthier, happier, successful, and more prosperous lives. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Marlu and Lala, you still remember Jesus' first miracle? It happened in a wedding like this. Ang sabi ng forecast ng pag-asa kahapon, 83% uulan sa Tagaytay. You have just received your first miracle.
not even a drop from heaven. No? God has just blessed you. As you have declared your consent and vows before God in these witnesses, may God confirm your covenant and fulfill and fill you both with grace. Now that Lala and Marlo have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and with the giving and receiving of rings, I now declare you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. They whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Can you lift up your hands towards them? and declare with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you and may His countenance shine upon you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Okay, we can now proceed to the reception. Oh, <laughs> Marlo, you may now give your first official and legal kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Marlo Akaryar. Nakpakan po natin sila. I set out on a narrow way many years ago would find true love along the broken road but I got lost a time or two but my brow and kept pushing through I couldn't see how every sign pointed straight to you then every long lost dream led me to where you Others who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much I know is true I think about the years I spent just passing through I'd like to have the time May we now I take lost the photo together with and our give it back pastor. to you but you just smile and take Let's my now hand have the photo together you've with been pastor there Victor you Jonathan understand Jordan. it's all part of a grander plan that is coming true every will long lost dream let me do where you are Others who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much I know is true That God bless the broken road That led me straight to you Just rolling home into my lover's arms. This much I know is true. That God blessed the broken road that led me straight to you. May we now call on our principal sponsors, our Ninong and Ninas. That God blessed the broken road. After our Ninong and Ninangs, please stand by our bridal entourage. Bye. 
Thank you, Ninongs and Ninangs. May we call on our bridal entourage? May we call on our bridesmaids, our secondary sponsors, to have photo with our newlyweds? Stand by for the bride's relatives. Again, please stand by for the bride's relatives. Thank you, ladies. Now, the groomsmen. Best man, groomsmen. Sa mga nagpopogi ang po natin groomsmen at best man. Gentlemen, may we call on the mother of the bride? I've been chasing summer around, searching for the sunshine, looking for a good time, following a good time. Intuition is just happening, digging into life because the times that can be saddening. Yeah, it can be a gray day if you're lonely. A little rain suddenly turns heavy, but a whole lot of love can make the clouds.